Hello guys, I am Shahzad Ahmed and welcome to lecture number 15. Today we are going to discuss about the URL helper. So basically URL helper contains some procedural functions that uh, assist in working with URLs. So, uh, that means if you, are, if you are working on URL or if you are managing your slugs, uh, then you have to use the URL helpers. How? I am going to discuss. I mean, comment. I am going to comment this one so you can easily get the code. Now I am saying this is the helper, and now I am saying by default helper. Okay. Before using any helper, you have to load that helper. But this helper is automatically loaded by the framework, so you don't need to load the url helper okay now i'm saying site url it takes few parameters okay like this i'm going to pass only single site url describe your url that means your controller goes here then your method then your parameters okay like this now echo this one refresh the page now as you can see it's automatically creating the function controller method and parameter for suppose if you have a, if you have this helper sorry it's not helper it's a controller and if you have this controller user go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see it's this is the controller and this is the helper you don't need to specify the first letter is capital okay now refresh the page my helper so user so we will discuss about where you use this one okay or suppose if you have anchor like uh, okay so now where you use this site url I'm saying I'm going to cut this bad boy. I have a anchor href. Make sure this is the okay. Now I'm saying go here. If you use double quotation, so now site URL now go to the page refresh the page so as you can see it's saying go click on this so now you are at the controller click on this you are sending from controller to your method which method this method so when you send to a url you always use the site url we will discuss about uh, in a related letters where you use this one but for now this is a site url okay so now we have another function procedural function base url base url now i'm saying we have a base url echo this bad one what happens let's see what happens when you echo this one okay now this is the controller okay so it's giving you the Access of the public directory because in the config folder, go to the config.php file. So, where is the config.php file? Okay, sorry, it's a app.php. In coding editor 3, we have a config.php file, in coding editor 4, we have an app.php. File. okay go to the config folder and find the app.php file so you can see this is the base url you have set your root of the project so this is the root of your project so this is the base url okay so that's why it's showing you this one if you say that uh, i have the in the public i have images folder and i have one dot jpeg image now i'm saying in the images folder i have one dot jpeg image so now go to the page refresh the page it's giving you this so how you access the image i'm saying i have image img image tag i have source tag so now i'm saying 
this is the image go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see it's showing you the image so it's totally depend upon you we will discuss about uh, the base url or site url in our little lectures but for now this is the base url okay so this is the site url i'm saying site url controller and your method method okay comment this one so you can easily get the code i'm also comment this one so you can easily get the code we have uh, the another function which is the current url current url give you the current position of the url so as you can see you are at the controller so that's why it's giving you this if you access this one user because we have a function here and now i am going to use current url here so it will give you the current position so as you can see okay so as you can see it's giving you current position okay so current url always give you the current position of the slug that means whenever i say slug that means i'm talking about this one url okay we have another function uri sorry uri string now go to the page refresh the page i'm comment this bad boy okay it's giving you the current slugs so it's a controller and and this is the method it's giving you this one if i'm if i say that i need only first one so how can you do that i'm saying zero so it's not giving you okay not because this is the production version okay sorry it's a uri string so it's always give you the methods and your controller sorry it's your controller and method and if you have some parameters so it will also give you for suppose if you if you are passing one parameters so as you can see it's giving one parameter if you're passing <laughs> another parameter so it will also give you the another parameters okay now you have your another function which is the anchor anchor echo anchor it takes few parameters okay uri for suppose i'm saying i have this good i'm going to create now an anchor so i'm saying go to controller and you can pass the extra fields here like id class and you can also pass the associative array okay so it's totally depend upon you go to the page refresh the page now as you can see i have created the uh, anchor so right click inspect element so as you can see this is the real anchor okay now click on this one so as you can see i'm i'm going from this method to this url so this controller okay fine you can also i am going to migrate all the code from here to here so you can easily get the code in a single controller okay now i'm going to comment this one now i have some other function like anchor echo anchor pop so if you want to open a window of an anchor so how can you do that so it takes few parameters okay like this but you can pass the array here so far suppose i have array my array it's a associative array now comma separate make sure now i'm saying the width of the pop up window is 500 so make sure you don't need to specify the pixel here now i'm saying 500 by 500 so width and height is a uh, 500 now i'm saying the third value is scroll scroll bars and this is the yes field 
when fast no also now i am saying a status you can use yes or no two values i am saying someone resize this one here yeah, someone resize someone also resize this bad boy you can also yes it's yes you can also pass the no parameters okay i think fine you can pass this associative array as a single parameters so now you have to use three parameters so these are the attributes and uh, this is the i'm saying i'm going to open this in a user user and i'm saying that please click me go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see it's a anchor click on this so as you can see i am opening the this this function this function in a sing, in a specific window i'm saying if okay now i'm saying so as you can see it's saying working fine close this bad boy now click on this one so as you can see it's fine i am loading or i am accessing this method of this controller in a separate window so uh, you can also create uh, like this we have a lot of functions uh, in this helper so go to the documentation and you can find the other function or procedural functions in this helper because uh, this these are the useful helpers we use these functions in our projects recursively okay so i think this is enough for today in the next section we are going to cover some other topics so thank you for watching